guys, welcome back again to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be cooking something out of this world. I have even no idea that something like this existed. I just found out about this basically two hours ago when me and my husband were watching Junior Master Chef. I don't know if you guys know, but I am obsessed with cooking shows. I love Master Chef shows. Aside from makeup artistry, I am obsessed with baking and also love cooking. While me and my husband were watching, there's this dessert that came across and it looked delicious like looked so so good so he then just told me how about you make that for me today and i'm just like thinking <laughs> you're kidding right like you're kidding and he's like no i'm not like can you make that to me today today like i want it today like now <gasps> let me tell you it's this dessert called raspberry trifle so that is basically what's gonna happen right now is i'm gonna try to make the gordon ramsay or what are you an idiot sandwich. The order Master Chef Raspberry Trifle. Okay, so the reason why I don't have any choice but to do this is because I love my husband. And even though this might suck so bad, I'm still gonna try. And let me tell you, the ingredients are like out of this world. This one, elderberry flour. No, elder flour soda. Water. I don't even know what this thing is. It's it's bizarre. Like, it's one of the ingredients and we had a hard time looking for this. We found it, but it's not even the exact one. So, you know, this is really gonna be just all over the place. I don't even eat raspberries, so... On a side note, if you go to Whole Foods and you love pot stickers, this chicken pot stickers, this exact one, tastes so good like you can taste the ginger inside the filling the chicken and everything else is just so fragrant it tastes so delicious that's why i got two and it says on the recipe that needs double cream and we can't find double cream so heavy cream i mean good luck to me trying to eyeball everything out and it says to have gelatin sheets and I have gelatin powder. I don't even know how to work with the gelatins here in the United States because the gelatin that I'm used to working with are Filipino ones. Um, I don't know if, you know, these are the same stuff or they need to be handled the same way. So I got my raspberries here. It says to put in a pan. I washed those already. As you can see, it was on a strainer. Duh. And then caster sugar do you have any idea how expensive this thing is this little thing right here one pound it's like ten dollars or 15 if i'm not mistaken it's more of a really really fine sugar than anything it's meant for like fancy baking but i had to buy this because i was trying to mimic one of gordon ramsay's so don't no dare send me your again because i look a bigger than you recipes as well oh that's perfect and it required this. I need one tablespoon of water. That's how it looks like. See? Ta-da! Cover it and go smooth. I'm gonna make this gelatin. I don't know how to work on with this. Custard. 300 ml. That's it, and we're gonna mix, 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 mix. We're gonna have to transfer that on a metal bowl because I'm gonna have to cook this. I forgot that I need the temperature. <laughs> I make custards all the time, and I don't know why I'm failing right now, but yeah. Um. Anyway, if you're wondering where's Olivia, she's at her grandma's house. Here comes the part where we're gonna have to mix this hot thing right here when you temperature stuff. You have to stir them constantly. You have to be careful on this so that the egg yolks won't cook because this is really, really hot. So I need my husband's help. Okay, let me just do it on my own because he's taking a long time. What? Ah! <laughs> this 
is really scary because if I mess this up, it's not gonna be a custard. I've made custards a lot because my husband loves tarts. So that's why I know this thing can be really, really tricky. You gotta pour this slowly. It's gonna cook the egg yolks. Just stop, 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 stop. Put it back to where it belongs on a low heat. So we're just gonna stir this until it's thick. One thing to know if your custard is thick enough if you dip your metal spoon in there and it covers the back and when you wipe it, it kind of like stays and keeps its shape on the back of the spoon but at this point, it's not yet because it's really drippy this has to be on a very very low heat, okay? keep that in mind There, look at that. It's so thick. Ta da! It covers the back of the spoon much thicker than a while ago, and you can see it's not as droopy. My raspberries are cooked as well, so we're just gonna taste everything first. Because Gordon Ramsay always say, taste everything. I'm gonna taste first the raspberry. Wow! Then we're gonna taste the custard. Okay, so we're gonna pour it in a bowl and we're gonna let it cool. this sit on the fridge um, we're gonna figure out the gelatin because I have no idea how to work with this thing this is just one envelope oh my gosh I guess this is fine I'm just gonna use this one gelatin even though it says to use two of those hopefully it works so this cordial thing we're gonna have to dilute this is this liqueur no? Okay, let's taste it. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. It just tastes so blonde. Okay, so this is it. Then we're gonna mix it with water. I have my ninja blender right here. This blender is actually really awesome. really smooth look at that we're gonna strain this
I blended it into puree and then the seeds are still intact. Another 250 ml of this juice says, by the way, Milo every day. Ta -da. Mix with the diluted cordial. It says bring it to a boil, then we're gonna pour the gelatin in here once it starts to boil. It's starting to boil. This is unflavored, by the way. have to mix this thing until it's completely warm enough for me to be able to put in here because it's gonna break the glass if it's too hot so we don't want that certainly I'm basically just gonna keep on stirring this until it's warm enough so it is warm enough it's starting to set so we need to put it in I actually tasted this. Mm. It's really good. Calamansis from California. Is that right? Mm -hmm. As I told you, he's obsessed with it. We are just waiting for this to set. It has been one hour since we did the jelly. We're gonna then apply the lady fingers. As you can see, it's really set. Like it's, look at that. The next part is lady fingers. I'm gonna have to slice these into like little cubes. Okay. Just eyeball it, how many lady fingers you need. is we're gonna pure the remaining puree this is just pure raspberries nothing on it make sure it's all coated just because the lady fingers needs to get softened because if it's too hard and dry that's just not cute Keep that again in the fridge. So, we're gonna put the custard on. We're almost done. Since we didn't slice this vanilla bean, you can actually wash this and reuse this next time because it still got a lot of flavor. Put it back in the fridge again. The custard is still so wobbly though. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. I packed it in there. But we need to let the custard set for more. Tomorrow. Good morning, people of the world. I tried to see if my custard has set and look 
what my husband did. He wanted to eat it so bad. He wanted it so bad. He couldn't even wait for the custard to set. Oh my gosh. But we're gonna taste this one since this is the one that he started eating. We already had a taste of this. I already showed you guys yesterday, last night, I mean. It actually really, really does taste so, so good. That's how it is. There goes the lady fingers. So you can see right there. And then that's the jelly part. We're gonna get some of that custard. That lady finger, that jelly, and that coolie that we made. There it is. Look at that. What a beauty. I can't believe I made this. It's so freaking good. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I really am so happy with the result. I cannot believe I just made a raspberry trifle that I didn't even know that existed until yesterday. So proud of myself. It's so delicious. I'm gonna link down below the recipe and try it because it's amazing it's it's really really good and this recipe actually is so amazing as well because it's meant for two so it's a very very straightforward recipe it's not like you're making for a whole class no it's not that big of a recipe so it's really really good i hate raspberries i don't eat them but now I freaking love them. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you're already here. Mind self subscribe. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the club. Follow me on my Facebook page. I post there makeup looks, makeup tutorials, and all beauty related stuff. And follow me on my Instagram as well. That is Leanne Jarrell. Everything that I have on social media is Leanne Jarrell. So go ahead and check me out and follow me there. I can't wait to see you guys out there. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.